So we picked up a secondhand sway bar, even though it's nicely freshly powder coated, it looks really good. Do not know what brand it is. It is a two point adjustable and uh, the bushings that came on it were 24 mil. So I was thinking it's a Eibach, but I'm not 100%. So I'm gonna do a little research, see what it is, but we are doing the front control arms. So you can see the video for that. We'll link them together in the top corner and at the end. Um, and while we're doing it, we're going to do the front sway bar because it's kind of easy to do once it's all taken apart there. So just because we got a lot more room to move. So what we're going to do now, now that we've got all that off, we're going to disconnect down there our adjustable sway bar end link. So we'll uh, tackle that now and uh, free it up and then we'll go underneath and have a look at what needs to be undone there. We do have a video on these uh, adjustable sway bar end links. Uh, I think they're pretty sure they were from Torque Solutions. Um, easy enough to do, so we'll just link the video to that. But we just have a 17 mil to hold here and a 17 mil there to undo. And that'll undo this side of the sway bar. Put the nut back on so I don't want to lose any of this kind of spacer things. Okay, that side is okay to undo a few bolts here to loosen them off. We need uh, a 15, a 16, and an 18. And uh, I had to use a pipe and a breaker bar to undo some of them because they're pretty tight. And here is what we're loosening off. So we've got a brace here. Right, so that's got to be, that's a 16, that's got to be taken out completely and the back one loosened. Uh, I see I've got a jack under the front subframe just holding it in position. Uh, even though we're not taking everything out, I don't want it to move around too much. Uh, we've got one, two, three, four here. So these are 15s. Yeah, they're 15s and then you got an 18 on that front arm there. So. Uh, that one's got to come out because we're going to pull the bar out that way. This one's got to be almost out. Uh, and these two just have to be loose. So this piece just drops, drops back a bit. So, okay, let's see if we can get a good angle. There we go. Good angle there. And I'll just go with the breaker bar. These ones aren't too tight. There we go, sway bar just dropped down because it loosened up. And what is that one? No, that's a 16 up the front. Okay. Of course, it's always one that's a bit different. So I've got two 15s and a 16 there. far out because that whole bracket will drop a little bit and of course you're going to have to you have to get alignment done but we're doing the control arms anyway so definitely you're going to have to do an alignment and the this one is right proper in there so we'll put the torque specs on it when we go to put everything back together and this needs two hands there we go it's moving Loosen those front ones right up. This way where it's dangling there. Get 
there's gonna be witness marks left kind of from the uh, the dirt uh, conveniently enough okay put the 15 back on So this one doesn't have to come all the way out, but uh, it might make it easier if it is. Okay, so let's try to put a thread back in. So we gotta be able to get the bar coming out from under there. should be enough now we'll take out the 16 on that brace now I've already cracked it because I did from the other side back of the brace right here we just got to loosen that one off that's a 16 as well and not on there super tight just got to loosen it up so it drops clear the bar and I think that will be enough to clear the bar okay let's see if we can get this yep all right that's out on this side let's wait for there always a bit of a pain in the butt oh we swing that in not through them and we go over and check out the other side but yeah we've got it pretty much out now. there we go this side is out I'll go over and wiggle off the other side the sizes so we know this one is the uh, 24 because it's got 24 mil bushings okay just to confirm yep 24 and now this is a 2004 Boxster S in Australia so this will be the rest of the world suspension and that is 24 as well but not adjustable and um that bar is super light, so I'm wondering if it's a hollow, and this is definitely a solid bar. It's considerably heavier, so, uh, but yeah, you can see the, there we go. Let me check the difference there, and we'll slide it into position. Just a little bit of the white lithium grease to the insides. We don't want it, it's a bit dirty too, I'm going to give that a brush out as well clean that up 
and then we'll put some of this lithium grease on it so we don't get any squeaks. So super easy to put back in, same way it came out. Just, uh, yeah, just drop it in basically. And, uh, and in she goes. So over the front into the, over the brace there, and then push it into the spot from the bracket there. Now I put one bolt just to hold it while I go to the other side and uh, secure that one. So with the uh, bolt back in, just secure everything up here. So put the 16 back in the brace. Tighten these all up in a second by hand, get them nice and tight. And then the 15s. So we can get that centered there. have an 18 socket to fit my electric ratchet but uh, we'll just do it by hand and tighten this one. Okay, now we'll get the torque specs for all these bolts, but particularly that bolt in a sec, and we'll uh, tighten them all up nice. Okay, we'll tighten these two, the sway bar bracket ones. Uh, I just saw another video at their 46 newton meters, so we'll torque those down. is not a lot. Okay, we'll do the other ones now. The front of this kind of boomerang bracket, that is the 16 mil, and that's 100 newton meters. that one last and it doesn't really have to be under load from suspension but it is a much higher torque level I'll get that torque level in a sec here and crank it down that guy there 88 foot pound or 120 newton meters so it's a 
a lot more torque than the other ones. Okay, that is done. Uh, we'll tighten up the braces now, but the braces, uh, they weren't in very tight, but there is a torque spec and I'll grab that and I'll torque those up. So the torque specs I found on that brace are a uh, hundred newton meters. So we'll just tighten that up to a hundred newton meters. That's for the Cayman anyway, but we'll just go with that. There we go. That's the back one. Come in to the front. Okay, there we go. 100. That's all bolted up now. Now we gotta, well, put our sway bar end link on. We got the torque spec of that too. Have a look at that in a second. We'll put that on. Well, only thing left to do tighten up the sway bar end links now they are supposed to be 65 pound foot or uh is that 88 newton meters so uh it's kind of hard to get in with the torque wrench but that's the last of it so uh sway bar well we got to put the belly pan back on and of course this is part of a job doing the um control arms so bit more to do for us but uh, if you're just doing your sway bar put your plastic under tray back on and uh, make sure you do the rear bar because doing the front we'll get it very only we'll get it very very understeery uh, you want to do the rear too to balance it out and that'll be in a another video of ours upcoming video so we'll link it once it's done but it won't be straight away <clears throat> we torque it on Okay, uh, we haven't heard the click, but I'll crank it and that's it. Good.